Renewable energy development is a fundamental cornerstone for mitigating climate change and creating a sustainable future for mankind. Clean energy production allows us to fulfill our energy needs without greenhouse gas emissions and harmful environmental effects that come with using fossil fuels, Global renewable energy capacity increased by 10% in 2022 alone with wind and solar making up 90% of the net additions. Worldwide renewable energy is expected to increase to 2400 gigawatt from 2022 to 2027. This marks an astonishing growth of 85% and the effort is being spearheaded by China, Europe and the United States. The history. Wind energy has been used for millennia with the first wind-powered water pumps created in China by 200 BC while the earliest recorded windmills were invented in Persia between 700-900 AD. The first large-scale wind generation of electricity, however, is attributed to Charles Bush, who in 1887 attempted it in Ohio. Wind is flying ahead of other renewable energy sources in terms of output, which isn't surprising since when wind speeds go up, the energy output increases exponentially. Wind energy harnesses the kinetic energy of the air by using gigantic wind turbines placed on land or at sea. These technologies have evolved in recent years, and global wind energy usage saw an increase of 9% in 2022 to a capacity of 906 gigawatt. Wind energy helps us avoid about 336 metric tons of carbon dioxide annually, which is an astonishing 99% lower emission than fossil fuels. With focus on renewable energy at an all-time high, we have listed three of the best breakthroughs in wind energy that we are convinced will change the green energy landscape. Ocean Hydro Omni Imagine a startup so ambitious that they are aiming to solve water scarcity, low-cost green energy production, and large-scale energy storage with one product. Seems like a tall order, but that is exactly what Startup Hydro Wind Energy aims to do. In 2020, Hydro Wind Energy was one of 100 companies selected by the World Economic Forum for shaping the fourth industrial revolution. So if any company can solve these challenges, it's this one. The first to solving these challenges is the introduction of the Ocean Hydro Omni, which is touted as the most disruptive power generation technology of the 21st century by the company. The Omni is a hybrid system that harnesses offshore altitude winds with the help of vertical axis wind rotors combined with a gravity-based system with an inbuilt energy storage system. This technology consists of a floating platform anchored to the seabed with wind rotors on the top. There are cables which go down to the seabed and attached to these cables, is an electrical generator and a heavy block. The Ocean Hydro Omni, unlike traditional turbines, works as a battery. As the wind turns the rotors, it charges the battery by moving the block higher. Energy is generated when the block is released downwards by converting the energy into electrical energy with a fixed power output, which is then exported to the offshore grid. This is a far more efficient method of power generation, dispatch, and storage when compared to traditional turbines because while they are either unable to store or dispatch electricity on demand, the Ocean Hydro Omni can do both. The rotor height of the Omni is 15 meter, and the energy storage capacity of the Omni is 70 kilowatt per hour per cycle, and it can do 21 to 189 cycles per day, which means the energy generation per day will be anywhere from 1.6 megawatt hour to 13.8 megawatt hour. The per unit cost of the Omni is $500,000 according to their official website. The Ocean Herdo Omni also has the potential to open up access to wind and deep waters which are inaccessible to traditional turbines. 80% of the world's winds exist in these deep waters, so Omni will provide a safer and more viable solution to increase green energy production and decrease dependency on fossil fuels. Counter-Rotating Turbines Worldwide Wind, a clean energy firm hailing from Norway, has designed a floating offshore wind turbine that's unlike anything else on the market. The turbine's counter-rotating, double turbine design that also floats and tilts is touted as being so efficient, it can dramatically increase the scale, power, and density, while also cutting down on wake turbulence and wind. The inspiration of this design came from keeled sailing boats, which have the ability to capture wind efficiently, and hence the turbine can get torque on 300 degrees out of the 360. There are two vertical axis turbines, each rotating in the opposite direction to the other. One turbine is attached to the rotor while the other is attached to the stator. The blades have a three-dimensional trajectory like a cone, and the struts help with wind capture and increase efficiency. Because it's omnidirectional, there is no need for a system to turn the turbine towards the direction of the wind. The turbine cuts offshore area scarcity by being efficient against turbulence and creating lower wakes downstream, 
which means you have a greater grid density and can install more turbines in the same area. The 40 megawatt turbine is greater in size than the Eiffel Tower, and it is projected that the blades will be around 150 adge. Since it is a vertical axis wind turbine, VAWT, the generator is at the bottom, which lowers the center of gravity and acts as a counterweight and stabilizer. The generator acts as a keel to help keep the turbine upright. The swept area of a vertical axis wind turbine, VAWT, is a rectangle, while the swept area of a horizontal axis wind turbine, HAWT, is a circle. The capture efficiency of the kinetic energy flow for horizontal axis turbines is 50%, while for vertical axis turbines it is 40%, but when you look at the area required to install a circular turbine as opposed to a rectangular one, then the energy difference comes back to naught because you can install more vertical axis turbines in that area to generate more energy. For HAWTs, there are dozens of moving parts, but with the worldwide wind turbine, there are only two large moving parts making it much less complex and reducing the cost by up to 30%. The drivetrain efficiency for this turbine is 98%, which makes it the most efficient turbine on the market. Horizontal axis turbines generally have a drivetrain efficiency of 90%. Perhaps the most important thing this company has focused on is its impact on wildlife. Because of less force and less vibrations on the structure and the low speed of the rotor blade's wingtip, this turbine is less of a threat to birds and sea creatures. Aramine. We have looked at large-scale energy solutions, but now let's look at something that can be a viable replacement for solar panels for households. Aramine Technologies is a startup based in Texas, and the company has created a vertical axis rooftop wind generator that harnesses wind to create electrical energy. Small wind turbines, SWTs, are not easy to adapt to rooftops like solar panels are. These turbines present challenges like causing structural damages to buildings due to their vibrations and endangering birds with the blades. Nearby buildings can also hinder the small turbines by disrupting wind paths which lowers the power capacity. Basically, wind turbines work best around hills and over the oceans. Aramine is attempting to bring small turbines to rooftops by creating emotionless turbines, which they claim produces 50% more energy than solar panels, while using just 10% of the space. Aramine uses a pair of vertically mounted wings, which capture and amplify building airflow at speeds as low as 5 miles per hour. The wings work in a similar way to the airfoils of a racing car. As air flows past the wings, an area of low pressure is formed and the aerodynamically built tower in between them feeds the suction created by this low pressure through the pipes so that it can pull the air past a small turbine attached to the machine's base. This turbine in turn rotates and generates electricity. The company claims that one Aramine unit will be able to produce as much electricity as 16 solar panels and the units can be placed 14 feet apart, making them a cheaper and more energy efficient solution to solar panels. The future of wind-powered energy seems bright with more and more advancements in offshore wind harnessing, as well as the creation of smaller wind energy solutions for buildings and houses. As countries around the world band together to tackle and eliminate carbon emissions, it is safe to say that wind energy generation will play a crucial role for generations to come.